CDN is a content delivery network. What that means is there's a couple of aspects of the whole CDN ecosystem. Um, I'm going to cover a few of them. So the first term is the edge. And what the edge refers to are POPs or points of presence or edge servers. All of these are different names for the servers that are owned by our partner Akamai that are distributed all over the globe. So Rackspace CDN and our customers, we use 230 of these locations. They're in South America, uh, North America, Asia, Australia, India, Europe. They're all over the place. And the idea is, is that I have a file that my end user in India is requesting. They want to go to these edge servers to get content instead of back to my second term, which is the origin. The origin is what we call your cloud server, your cloud files container, your dedicated server, whatever is serving the content on your website and is sort of that true source. So if you didn't have CDN, where would you be serving your content from? That's what we call the origin. So let's go back to our end user in India. They're going to a site, a, an American-based site, let's say, um, mywebsite.com, and they want to get the content for that. So when a customer has CDN disabled, they don't have CDN, the way that that person gets that content, they make a request to mywebsite.com, and all the images and all the style sheets, all of those turn into requests that go all the way back to the origin. Let's say that origin is in our Dallas data center. Think about all the miles that that data has to travel to get from one point to the other. That takes time. It adds latency, and it makes your website performance slower. So when a customer has CDN enabled, let's take our, our user in India again. So a customer has changed their DNS to say, for my website, instead of serving traffic all the way back to my origin, my cloud server, first make a stop at the edge. So our user from India requests content. Let's say that there's a, an image on that file, on that page. That request goes to their local edge server. They're mapped by all this technology that Akamai has. It says this client IP, the fastest way for them to get this is from this edge server, probably in India, right? So they go to an Indian edge server. There's a cache on that edge server that's, and basically they make the request and said, does this edge server have this content yet? And if not, the edge server will come back and request that from the origin and then cache it on the edge server for a period of time. So if we take this conversation back to what we were thinking when we, what were we thinking what we were thinking when we did Rackspace CDN for cloud files when we did cloud file CDN, um, it was really about individual assets that we knew that customers were going to want to accelerate and push over the CDN. So for customers who just want to accelerate the images on their social media site or just want to accelerate the videos on their learning application, what Rackspace CDN does is it takes an entire domain and accelerates everything behind that domain. So let me go back to uh, my example about website.com. Website.com has a style sheet, it has a banner, it has images and a few videos. Uh, with Cloud File CDN, let's say that I want to accelerate everything, but it's just a hassle to upload all those files to, to Cloud Files, then get the URL, then embed those links into my website. So I just do the videos, right? I, so what I do is I upload them to Cloud Files, I CDN enable my Cloud Files container, I get the CDN links for those, and then I embed those links into my website. Now I want to take you to the experience for Rackspace CDN. Basically, I'll create a CDN service, and that CDN service maps my domain name to the origin that's hosting my content. So all those images are probably already on my cloud server, right? Because that's where my website is running from. So what this does is I say, mywebsite.com can be found at this cloud server, this or this IP address, or this um, domain address. Just go find everything and accelerate it over the CDN. I don't have to talk about specific files anymore. I don't have to talk about, um, you know, I don't have to embed specific links. I leave my website code alone. I don't have to touch it at all. I just set up this service. I make a DNS change, and just like my DNS change with cloud files, basically, I'm telling DNS and the internet, when you get a request for mywebsite.com, instead of coming back to my origin, make a stop at the edge first. And then what the edge is going to do is going to read my website code and make all of the fetches back to my origin that need to happen. And that's really what origin pull is. You know, there's origin pulls kind of turned into this weird little industry term. But what it means is what customers want when they're talking about origin pull is instead of telling you which specific files I want to accelerate over the CDN, 
I want to just tell you, go accelerate my entire site at mywebsite.com. And you go and figure out all the assets and pull them as you need to. That's what our customers are looking for, and that's what we're in a limited availability with today. And uh, we're really excited about it. We think that we're taking something that sort of people were retrofitting into their websites and making it dramatically easier for them to get up and running with CDN in a matter of minutes. But what we've learned from our customers is that people want to come to Rackspace and ask the same person all five of their questions, right? They want to get a bill for all five of their products, and they want to manage them from their control panel where they can see all of these products interacting with each other. You know, a lot of times they, we link across uh, products on our control panel. What we've learned is that customers want to get a portfolio experience from Rackspace, and that really includes a true CDN experience. We've seen people taking what we have with CloudFile CDN and sort of trying to sort of put a, you know, with a round peg into a square hole. But what we've done is now that we've, we've, bring in, we've brought our technology sort of up to speed, we have it backed by, by far and away the industry's best CDN provider. So people who know about CDN know about Akamai. We hear our customers saying, I sleep better at night just knowing that Akamai is behind it. I just know that nothing's going to go down. They're not one of these new players that just sort of spun up, and we're using 230 of their locations. Some of our competitors, that's four and five times the number of locations that they have. So I feel like, again, like I said a little bit earlier, I feel like we've finally sort of hit our stride in terms of finding the right partner that our, we know our customers trust, making it very simple for our customers to enable it, and you know, just giving them the experience that they're looking for in terms of a whole portfolio offer.